Hello Gundam fans, welcome back to another Gunplay Review video. This is going to be the real great Wing Zero EW, piloted by Hero e in the series Wing. This kit right here, I'm just going to say there's a reason I'm not putting any clips for any poses, because this kit right here is Bandite, you take 10 steps forward and you take 5 steps back. That That's about how bad they are with some of their kits. So, the last review... I didn't do any poses either because I just couldn't get it to post. Something would break, something would fall off, and I just gave up because it was so frustrating. And I usually try to get them. Even on their dinosaur kits, I try to get them. So um, that's going to tell you how this review goes. If you really want the full-on review, you can continue watching the video. Um, I'm going to pick up the kit and do my usual thing, showing what's in the box. If you can make this kit work, I definitely say grab one, but I couldn't do anything with this thing. It's a shelf pleaser, and it's going to stay there for the rest of its existence, if not in the trash can later. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get in this review and help you out in your next Gunpla purchases. Sorry for the spoilers, but I'm, I'm upset with it. Alright, and this is everything that comes in the box of the real great Wing Zero EW. Or the Wing Gundam EW. Not Zero, because... Reasons. There's, there, I, 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 you can watch my uh, reaction to the anime and see my opinions on this whole EW thing. But, anyway though, it comes with the... Manual itself. Well, boof. There is a sticker sheet somewhere. I don't know where the sticker sheet is, so. Oh, there it is. No, that's the other one. And there's a sticker sheet somewhere. Too many things. So we have our beam saber effect parts. Boof. Nice and green, because the wings do come with those. Um, these pieces are clips that can go on the back of the arms for the transformation that have like little grenades and basically ammunition for the gun. We have our shield. Boof, boof, boof. I don't know why that's there. Then we have plenty of hand options. Of course, we have these, and everybody knows my opinion on these real great hands. Go fudge yourselves. Open palms. Um, beam saber holding hands. Boof, boof, boof. And then a closed palm hand. A base adapter. The ginormous ass gun, which does have some issues. It's being glued right now because... Well, this little peg right here that goes in the hand just want it break these break off so easy, Bandite. Please find a fix for these. Like every weapon that I have that has that breaks at one point. So, yep, and it, it's a little strange because it's supposed to go so when it turns into shit mode, you can push that piece over its head, and that's it. Now let's go ahead and get into the Gundam because this kit has some accessories, but they're not in abundance. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So, we have full movement down just because this does include part of the transformation because the wing gun has a simpler transformation than the doubles or the zeta so it's a lot smoother i've transformed this and it's smoother i just don't advise it so next we're gonna have the articulation in the actual knee band oof and this kit is not the worst it still uses that inner inner frame that the real grades are known for but there's a lot less going on here than most of the other ones, so it's not as hand grenade as them. See, the more things that they try to put on this frame, and when we get to Sanaji, you're going to see that's the biggest flaw with that, is they try to use this, this frame for it, and it's not built for it. It's why the Mark II is so good, because it doesn't have a lot going on. It's simple, basic, and it's a slight upgrade from the uh, RX-78-2, because they had a little bit of time to perfect that, so much better. So these little hip pads can go that way, so that you can kick forward. Oh, kicking forward. Almost knocked over my display. This camera angle is killing me, but it's okay. And then, of course, it can go to the back. About that far. And if you didn't notice, whenever he does move, these two pieces right here do come apart, just like a Master Grade. Well, like I said, some of these aren't the worst. It's just planning. And there is some things that can be moved in there because these do move forward for the transformation so they can actually go up not gonna do that right now but they can do so Oof. all right arms ball joints for the actual hands as you can see with one of these um articulation still pretty good because these inner frames aren't the worst for articulation like these early ones are not shoulders can there is a piece in here that allows this piece to come up Oop. just like so and then you can push it back and that's mostly for the transformation again. They're supposed to go down. I'll have to adjust that, but yeah, they're supposed to go like down. 
for the transformation portion. Bicep says you can tell him move. Um, he can do a T-pose if he wants to. A little stiff because I don't play with these as much as most people probably do. So that's probably why my inner frames aren't loosening up as much. And then we have the ab crunch. Oof. And then we have the head. Can go all the way around. No, no, no. Oh, yes, it can. Not very well, but it can. And then head wiggle, wobble. Oh, that fell off. Wings. These pieces out here can go up and down. Up and down this way. And then back. So yeah, that is the Wing Gundam EW version. Pretty sweet. Looks so good though. All right, and that's going to be the end of this review right here. Again, I do apologize. I don't really have many shots or anything of it in poses or anything for any of you guys, but the rating system is going to pretty much explain that now why. So for the posability and articulation of this kit, it's going to get literally a 1 out of 10. It literally falls apart. Anything breaks on it as soon as you start moving things around. The wings are about the only sturdy thing when you think they weren't, even though they do fall off from time to time when you're trying to play with it or hold it in your hand. Um, appearance on the shelf, it's a real great, and a, this real great does get a 10 out of 10. It looks so good. It's just not functional. It's literally a statue. Once you buy it, you, you pose it in whatever you want, and you leave it there. Don't, don't ever touch it again. Literally, it's either going to be there, and if you touch it again, it's probably going to go into the garbage can after that, and then you're going to buy another one if you want another one for your shelf. Um, the uh, build buildability of this kit, I enjoyed the build, actually. It wasn't too bad of a build. It started to get more in-depth, because you can kind of see Bandai trying to do more in-depth, real-grade build. So, as a real-grade build up to this point, it's a 7 out of 10. It's not perfect. It definitely needs some things, and so that goes to the last point that I like to go for my rating system, the durability slash playability of this kit. Now this kit right here gets a 1 out of 10 because as it stated with the posability and articulation, all that kind of goes to it. You cannot play with this kit. You cannot sit there and mess with it on your desk while you're in an interview or on a call or Discord or something. Because again, trying to just pose it for the camera and it literally broke. The gun and the hand broke 10 times and I had to wait 2 hours for each time to, to glue to see if I can get the glued in there. Finally got tired of it and glued the gun in the hand and it still broke off. And of course... The wings would fall off if you started to move them too much. Like I said, they're, they're not the worst, but they're still not good. The little hand piece, so whenever I'd have to glue the hand, um, it, the, the piece into the, you know, take the piece out, put it on the gun again. Because it's actually the little peg. Without that peg, that gun has no stability, so it just kind of wobbles around on the kit. And so, anytime the hand would, and it was also loose, so it would fall down. So I'd have to glue that a little bit to tighten it up, or put something in it to make it tighten it up. And it would still fall, and then I'd have to do it again. But the wrist piece that that connects into the arm... Because there's a little piece that connects into the cuff. Would fall off too as soon as I'd pull it off. And then it'd be a bitch trying to push it together. So this kit right here. Bandai, come on. You guys need to pick it up. Which they do later on as I get towards the newer ones. They did pick the pace up. They did. The quality got better. Everything just got better as the time went on. But up until this point. We got some good kits. And we got some bad ones. So it's it's been so off and on with the real grade. So for every like. Five good real grade kits up to this point. You literally have 10, 15 bad ones. It's just so terrible up to this. So anyway, though, that's going to be my rant and the end of this video here. The next video I'm going to be doing is the Quanta. Or Quante, Quanti, Quanta. Double O, it's the double O Quanta. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's the real grade. So the next real grade video is going to be that. And let me just say that kit might be the next step up. You're going to have to look forward to that review right there. So without further ado, that's it for me on this one. Until the next video. I'm out.